Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video is going to be the part two of the thrifter haul that I filmed this past weekend. If you haven't yet seen that and would like to, I will leave a link to it right up here somewhere. I don't know what it is y'all, but I seriously had so much fun filming that vlog. It was like a breath of fresh air. It was exactly what I needed to film and it just felt really good. So I went to a used bookstore and I got a couple of books that y'all had actually recommended to me on Instagram. So I did that and I did all kinds of other stuff. So you're definitely gonna have to check it out. But I've been trying to like retrain my brain into enjoying books because I've never really been a big reader my reading comprehension is just terrible. It's like for it to sink in, I have to read it over and over and over again, like the same paragraph. The main thing though that we talk about in the vlog is the thrift store that I went to. So I went to a new thrift store that I had never been to before. It's one that kind of has mixed reviews and I think the mixed reviews are because the prices are a little bit high, but they do have a 14 day return policy. So praise be. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy about that because I didn't try nothing on. So now let's get this show on the road, shall we? If you like this type of content and would like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. You know your girl would appreciate it. And without further delay, let's get into this plus size try on thrift store haul right now. All right, y'all. So this is my big old bag of thrift store clothes that I picked up this past weekend. And I'm really excited to share them with y'all. I didn't pick up like a crop toad, crap toad. <laughs> <laughs> really, Mandy? I didn't pick up a crap load of stuff. I probably picked out maybe six or seven things. I actually spent like $46, which I think is completely outrageous for a thrift store, but I drove like 30 miles and your girl was committed, okay? I had to pick up something and you know, I think I did pretty good. So the first thing that I picked up from the thrift store is a dress. It's actually from the brand Calvin Klein and I picked this up for $19.99, way overpriced way overpriced. So this is what the dress looks like. It's a really pretty dress from the brand Calvin Klein. And it has these really nice kind of like raised abstract florals all the way around it. And it also has like a base or like a background with like these translucent sequins. And it's really pretty. I wish that it would fit me. It probably is not. You're probably gonna see me trying it on right now but it has a zip up back. It's got a V-neck in the front and back and it has spaghetti straps that I think is so pretty. It's very dainty. And I was hoping that my daughter would love this, but when I showed it to her, she was like, oh, thanks. And then never mentioned it again, went upstairs. And that was the last time that we've even spoken about this dress. <laughs> so I'm kind of taking that as a hint that she really doesn't like it. But when you turn it around, this is what the back of it looks like. So it has a nice like hidden zipper in the back and it's kind of like a fit and flare. So it's like fitted at the waist and then it flares to a kind of a mini dress. So that's kind of why I got it for her. I thought this is something that she would like maybe for a school dance or like for graduation or something because she's graduating in a couple of months. Time is just going way, way too fast. I can't even handle it anymore. <laughs> so save me. I'm gonna have two college students in a couple of months. <sighs> be still my heart. <laughs> I'm still totally reeling over the fact that I paid $20 for the first dress. I shouldn't have showed y'all that the first one. <laughs> I wish that I wouldn't have paid that much for it. And I wish I would have checked the price tag whenever I was buying the stupid thing, but I was just expecting thrift store prices. You know what I'm talking about? So the second dress that I want to share with y'all that I picked up at the thrift store is a little bit more up to snuff with my style and my price range. <laughs> and I paid $6.99 for it. And it's from the brand Maurice's. So this is what it looks like. And I think the thing that I like the most about this dress, besides like the big gaudy gold zipper in the back, because y'all know if you've been watching my channel, I love that little detail, just adds a little something something. But it also has this really interesting, kind of like a khaki, almost like a heathered gray background that just kind of makes it look a little bit more grown up, but still casual at the same time. And I also like the fact that it is sleeveless. So this is gonna be perfect for spring. And it has a lot of details that I really do appreciate so it has a cinched in waist here that gives your body a lot of shape. And then whenever you go down to the mini length length, or maybe it's even knee length, I'm not even sure. I haven't even tried this on, but it has a really cool detail at the bottom that just sort of breaks up the body and just makes it feel really interesting. And I think that would look good with some black boots or some really cute heels or even some sneakers. So yeah, I picked this up in a size 2X and 
I really like it. So now we're on to dress number three, and this is gonna be the dress that nobody in my family loves or appreciates, and I don't understand why. You know whenever you go to the thrift store <laughs> and you come home and you wanna show everybody your treasures, nobody liked this one, and it kinda hurt my heart. <laughs> it kinda hurt my feelings, but you know, it just is what it is. Everybody has their own opinions and you know what they say about opinions. So this dress is actually from the brand Crown and Ivy. I picked it up in a size extra large. Don't know why I picked it up in a size extra large, but I did. And this is what it looks like. And what I liked about it so much was the fact that it had this really cool neon green, like all the way around the top area here. It also has it on the zipper in the back. And then whenever you go down to the bottom of it, it has the really cool neon green right there at the bottom as well. What? I don't even know why people don't like it. I think it's super cute. This thing is going to be mighty short, let me tell you. <gasps> And it also has a stain, no. Well, crap, this is definitely gonna have to go back because I mean, I paid $6.99 for this and it's got a stain on the front. Oh well, <laughs> I'm still gonna show you what it looks like and I'm still gonna try it on because I'm dedicated to making this damn video <laughs> if it's the last thing I do. Just hope it fits and I hope it's not too short. That's my two main things and you know, the stain is kind of a bummer as well. So anyway, this is the third dress and now on to the next one. So now we're down to the final two dresses and the next one that I'm gonna share with y'all is from the brand Halmode Petites. Never heard of it. This is probably like an older line that might not be in business anymore, but I picked it up for $6.99 in a size 14 and the material is made of 55% linen and 45% rayon and this is what it looks like and what i loved most about it was the color that was the first thing that like attracted me to it i have always been a lover of linen i love the way it looks on other people especially like on vacation how it kind of flows and catches the wind and it looks so breezy and airy and stuff but i never buy it for myself mainly because of two reasons one it's notoriously hard to keep clean it's usually like a dry clean only garment and two it is always hard to iron. It always is hard to kind of keep the wrinkles out. So I'm really hoping that because this is a rayon blend that it kind of balances each other out. So anyway, I'm totally rambling. So this is what the dress looks like. And I just love this color. It's so rich, it's juicy, it's bright, it's like cheerful. It's like a mix between like a tangerine and a red. It's like that perfect kind of a corally blend that just looks so, so pretty. It would look amazing on so many different skin tones. And it also has a hidden zipper in the back, which I really do appreciate. And this is probably gonna be like a midi length or a maxi length on me. It's considered petite. So, you know, it could be a little bit on the shorter side. I am 5'10", so we're just gonna see how it falls on me. But whenever you go down to the bottom, it does have a little slit right there that looks really cute. And this is just a very well-made dress. $6.99, I am happy that I have it. If it doesn't fit, it's definitely gonna go back. And now on to the next one. All right, y'all, so we have officially made it to the final dress of the entire day. And this dress is gonna be from the brand Maggie London. Do you remember the brand Maggie London? Like back in the 90s, maybe even the 80s. Let me know in the comment section down below if you remember the brand or remember where you would buy it from. I wanna say that I found Maggie London back in the day at like Mervyn's or JCPenney, maybe even Dillard's. Was it kind of a high-end brand? I don't even know. But this dress is really, really pretty nonetheless. So Maggie London is the brand. I picked it up in a size 16 for $6.99. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it has this really beautiful beadwork, which that's what I was looking for. I was going to the thrift store to look for stuff with sequins and beadwork and I found it in this one. But once again, we found a theme here. It's going to be a sleeveless dress and it's gonna be a very long sleeveless dress. So it goes very long to a maxi length dress. And this is just a really, really pretty, very intricately done beadwork dress right there at the top. So it's kind of like an empire waist. And then whenever you turn it around, it has like a square back line in the back that I think is just so, so pretty. And this just feels very vintage to me and almost it smells like it's been in a cedar chest. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a cedar chest. So yeah, that is going to do it for this plus size thrift store haul. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very, soon. <laughs> Bye!